once again with you in Paris to celebrate all for regime change, all for freedom. Your voices represent the voices of freedom that are in Iran that cannot be heard now. Et je suis ici aujourd'hui parmi vous pour vous apporter à nouveau mon soutien, mon soutien au peuple iranien et à sa résistance. La Fondation France Liberté Daniel Mitterrand apporte son salut et son soutien. C'est aux Iraniens eux-mêmes de faire ce changement sous l'impulsion des femmes et des hommes courageux comme Myriam Rajavi. There's an alternative in Iran that stands for democracy, stands for freedom, stands for human rights, stands for the rights of a woman, is led by a woman And that is, of course, the MEK and Madame Rajavi. It is my honor to present to you Madame Rajavi!
قیام در موسل و سایر شهرها در عراق قبل از همه بیت العنکبوت خامنی را قافل گیر کرد و سپاه پاسداران را لرزاند رژیم بیهوده سعی کرد با برچسب تروریسم و خلاصه کردن خیزش های میلیونی در نیروهای افراطی با قیام مردم عراق مقابله کند در حالی که رهبران عشایر و مردم عراق در هفته های اخیر بارها هر گونه افراتیگری و تروریسم و حمله و تعرض به غیر نظامیان را قویان محکوم کردند آنها تکید کردند که خودشان با تروریسم و القاعده در عراق در جنگ بوده اند و باز هم برای آن آماده اند اما به این بهانه نمی توان تروریسم حکومت مالکی و رژیم ایران را که مسبب این وضعیت است دور زد و نادیده گرفت امروز فارق از هر تحلیل و نظری در مورد تعبولات عراق یک اجماع گسترده در عراق در منطقه و در سطح بین المللی وجود دارد همه میگویند وضعیت کنونی در این کشور ناشی از انحصار طلبی و سرکوبگری مالکی است بنابراین راه حل یکی بیش نیست و آن هم کنار گذاشتن مالکی است راه حل خلعیت از رژیم ایران است و تشکیل یک دولت دموکراتیک و فراهی You're not just the enemy of our enemies. You are our friends, our allies, our brothers and sisters, our partners in pursuit of freedom, human rights, and the rule of law. Nous sommes 14 000 élus français, dont 7 000 maires. Nous sommes là, fidèles à votre rassemblement. Pour nous, vous êtes la résistance à l'image de Jean Moulin et je choisis l'exemple à dessein. Vous êtes la liberté, vous êtes la démocratie. Et je suis fier de vous accompagner dans ce long parcours vers un état de droit dans votre pays, l'Iran. Vous vous battez, Emana Drajavi la première, pour l'égalité des hommes et des femmes, pour le rôle des femmes en politique. Et ça, dans le Moyen-Orient, c'est extraordinaire C'est le régime lui-même qui doit changer, complètement changer. Et nous partageons votre rêve d'une république fondée sur la séparation de l'Église et de l'État. We send our support, minute by minute, day by day, to those brave friends we have in Camp Liberty. We will never be safe until the dictatorship is replaced and a free government exists in Iran. The United States must keep its word and free the people at Camp Liberty. There's nothing left to say. The regime must go. And this is specifically to the residents of Camp Liberty. We will, we will bend every effort to protect your safety as we promised to do. Residents of Camp Liberty have fulfilled every assurance and received by the United States government its promises. In Maria Rajavi's wars, we can hear democracy, liberty, and human rights. The United States government gave a promise of protection to the residents of Camp Ashraf in return for their decision to lay down their arms. We must recognize that the United States has a responsibility to fulfill this guarantee and ensure that our failed promise does not become a stain on the reputation of the United States of America. The only sound approach is that the declared policy of the United States should be the overthrow of the Mullah's totalitarian regime. Madam Rajavi, you are the catalyst for the establishment of a free and democratic Iran. We, we stand with you and we salute you for seeking to be a part of the debate that is happening in Iran and to be part of the force that will ultimately change Iran for the better. It is time for the President and his administration to stop leading from behind 
and to get in front of saving the people who you and I know deserve freedom. Is there change for Iraq? And the answer is yes, because it's you. It's you. It's the MEK. It's Marion Rajavi. There are more people in this hall than there were at the Democratic National Convention in 2004 and the Republican National Convention in 2004. The choice to bomb or not to bomb, the choice to give the bomb or the bomb Iran, that's not the choice. The choice is real simple. Let the people of Iran determine their own destiny. But one thing that we learn in Illinois is that a people united will never be defeated. And I want to commend this coalition. Continue to be the voice for those people in the streets in Tehran. My commitment and the commitment of my colleagues here today is to resettle the residents of liberty, to change the United States' misdoubted policy and adopt a policy that supports the MEK and Mrs. Rajavi in her quest for regime change in Tehran. And that Iranian regime is not just a challenge for the people of Iran, for the people of Iraq, or for the region. It's a challenge for the international community. And there can only be one conclusion, and you've heard it many, many times already today, that regime must go. I am more concerned than ever before for the safety and security of your countrymen at liberty. Well, I was there when the promise was made to you 10 years ago, and I will be there when that promise is ultimately fulfilled and you step off a plane out of harm's way. In 2003, I drove on to Camp Ashraf for the first time. They were people of honor and integrity. Today, in 2014, a large group of them are now interred at Camp Liberty. They are still the same people of honor and integrity, and I will not forget you. When I left Ashraf in 2004, the last thing I said to my friends there, I will see you again in a free Tehran. We stand together today, we stood together on the deserts of Diyala province, and we'll stand together always, and one day we'll stand together in Tehran. We should today be bringing Iran's leaders into the dock of justice in front of the International Criminal Court. Madam Rajavi's argument is simple enough. The fight for women's equality is indistinguishable from the fight for global peace. The vision of a future Iran enshrined in the Ten Points Plan launched last year by President Rajavi should attract unconditional support by the whole international community. Thank you, Miriam Rajavi. Thank you for being the leader, for having the courage and the vision for your people and for giving us the opportunity of sharing the day of glory that is near for all Iranians and for the friends of Iran. The Iranian resistance under the leadership of Mrs. Rajavi will emerge as the reference for a tolerant and democratic Islam. None of us will rest until we see the brutal divisive regime in Tehran removed from power and replaced by a regime led by people like you and people like Madame Rajavi. I came here to express my deep admiration for your struggle, for your extraordinary efforts, for your fight for the dignity of persons of your great nation. I'm very concerned that Camp Liberty has turned into a place unworthy of its name's promise. Here, you don't have only politicians, members of parliament, but you have doctors, professors, lawyers, people that consider 
Iranian that have come in our country like part of our family. Madam Rajavi, we want you to know that we have been and continue to be on your side until you achieve the human rights of all your people in full and you can put your 10-point plan into action. The schönste Geschenk für unsere Präsidentin Frau Rajavi ist es wirklich, wenn wir im nächsten Jahr sagen können, Cap Liberty ist kein Problem mehr. Es gibt kein Cup Liberty mehr. Alle Menschen sind in Sicherheit. Danke. Je salue tous les compagnons de Masoud et Mariam Rajavi dans la lutte, dans une lutte qui a déjà dépassé un tiers de siècle pour la liberté et la démocratie. وكذلك نحن ندعم الأخت مريم رجوي في نضالها من أجل الحرية وحقوق الإنسان والديمقراطية والعدالة والمساواة والتحرر من النظام الدكتاتوري الإيراني. But I think it is important for us all to understand that the break may come when we're least expecting it. We stand with the Iranian people in their quest for the rule of law, not men, in their demands for democratic freedom and justice and human rights. المصريين يشاركوكم في نضالكم ويركبونه بإعجاب. This regime has not prospect for reform and the mullahs, the mullahs have to go. You are the antithesis of the Islamic fundamentalist rulers in their country. I personally believe Madame Rajavi is an exemplary leader in the Middle East. And we think, we think that they must be supported by Western countries. And I hope next time this delegation, along with other members of the Romanian and Moldavian parliaments, will go in Iran and celebrate the freedom and celebrate democracy. I also join in your calls on Iraq to secure the safety of the residents of Camp Liberty, to prevent further harm from those who are doing the harm to those who still live there, and to hold accountable those responsible for violence against the camp's residents. I've made clear to the U.S. administration officials that the safety and security of the MEK members at Camp Liberty must continue to be a priority. For that, we stand in solidarity together. Rouhani is a creature of the regime, pure and simple. And that is why we should be speaking out against these abuses. <laughs> تعزيز تضامنكم وتعاطفكم مع المنظمة الراعية لهذا المؤتمر منظمة مجاهد الخلق والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله